Hi, this is Serena from Cooking in Manhattan. It's summer out and the heat is terrible in Manhattan. So today I will show you how to prepare a delicious meal that doesn't require any fire or any heat. We are preparing beef carpaccio. Now, in Italy you prepare carpaccio with raw meat. But that is not necessarily the best thing to do, especially because raw meat in the summer, it can rot pretty easily. So what we usually do is we use roast beef or we use bresaola. Bresaola would be basically a filet that has been treated like a prosciutto. So if you can get your hands on that, that would be amazing. But if you can't, just go to the closest grocery and get some very thinly sliced roast beef. And now the ingredients of our summer beef carpaccio. We have half a pound of roast beef. As you can see, it was cut very thin, and so we just put it on a dish like this. Then we have two cups of arugula, a little bit of Gruyere cheese that we will shave on top of our salad, one apple, um, the juice of a lemon, oil, salt, and pepper. This is gonna be super easy. I'm using Pink Lady, that is my favorite apple, and I am going to slice it in very thin slices, or at least as, as thin as I can get. I have placed the apple slices on the roast beef, and now I'm preparing the vinaigrette. This is the juice of one lemon, so I'm gonna put, put this in. Then a couple of spoonfuls of extra virgin olive oil, you know, it's my favorite kind of condiment, so it always goes in every one of my of my vinaigrettes and then we just need salt and pepper obviously that's today so if you like it a little bit saltier even if it's not good for you well just put a little bit more salt and here we go and now we blend it I'm making a mess but just, it's just because I forgot the fork but you know that is what it is. Now, the arugula goes on top of our salad here. There we go. And finally, oh wait, no, it's not finally. Actually, I forgot the cheese. That's the most important thing. Well, you know, in Italy for this kind of um, salad or fresh dish, or cold dish as we call it in Italy, we use parmigiano, but I decided to jazz it up a little bit with the apples, so I picked a different kind of cheese, which is Gruyere. Obviously, if you want to do the real Italian recipe, you would do bresaola, um, arugula, and parmigiano. But if you really want to try this, which is much fresher because of the apples, I would really encourage you to use Gruyere. So now, let's cut the Gruyere here, and let's create some beautiful ribbons with potato peeler. Okay, so there you go. That's our garnish. Obviously they're falling on the plate in a crazy way, but I promise at the end I will rearrange them so you can see the final product. Isn't this pretty? It is really nice and very refreshing. If you want to turn it into the perfect picnic food, you can just put the ingredients that I just told you in uh, uh, focaccia bread or in slices of whole wheat bread or whatever you like. You can press it to have the panino style uh, sandwich or you can just eat it fresh. It is really good and refreshing and especially in a hot day like this, you really don't want to turn on the oven. And now this is my favorite part obviously when I try it. Mm. This is really great. You have to try it in a hot day like this, it's going to be perfect. This is Serena and I'll see you again on the next Cooking in Manhattan. Ciao!